במיוחד. אני רוצה לברך את כל העושים במלאכה, את מזכיר הממשלה ואת uh, ידידנו הצעיר פינסקי, אבל בשמע צוואתו של ג'ון הנרי פטרסון, uh, להיקבר בישראל. ואני במיוחד רוצה לברך אותך, אלן פטרסון. So I want you to know, Alan, there is no exaggeration. Your grandfather, Lieutenant Colonel John Henry Patterson, was the commander of the first Jewish fighting force in nearly two millennia. And as such, he can be called the godfather of the Israeli army. He also happened to be uh, the godfather of my late brother, Jonathan, who was named after him. Uh, so I feel that in doing what we're doing today, we are closing, we're paying a great historical debt and a personal debt. My family is here with me. My wife, Sarah, my brother, Ido, his wife, Daphna. We are repaying a historical debt and a personal debt to a great friend of our people, a great champ champion of Zionism, and a great believer in the Jewish state and the Jewish people. Now, when I say <coughs> godfather, I didn't say father. Godfather. But John Henry Patterson's contribution was immense in two ways. First, by commanding this force, he gave it structure. Because the biggest, and confidence, the biggest obstacle in the recreation of Jewish independence was the ability of the Jews to defend themselves. This capacity had been lost completely in the diaspora. The Jews who were known in antiquity as great fighters, from Joshua, David, the kings of Israel, the Maccabees, Bar Kochva. The Jews were renowned for their capacity to fight and defend themselves. They didn't always succeed, but they always resisted their tormentors. That capacity was lost over the centuries until the Jews became wind-tossed leaves, unable to defend themselves at all. And in fact, the word Jew was gradually substituted for the word wandering Jew, and then cowardly Jew. And the idea that Jews could take up arms and fight and be perhaps among the best fighters in the world, this was viewed as lunacy, not only among the non-Jews, but among the Jews themselves. And it took feats of imagination of brilliance to imagine that the Jews could reconstitute that capacity to resist and to fight that characterized them in antiquity. This was first brought up in its full force by Herzl, who was dismissed as crazy, not only for the Jewish state, even more so for the idea of a Jewish army. That really sealed Herzl's uh, fate in the eyes of uh, advanced people. And then it was brought up by Herzl's disciple, Jabotinsky, and of course, Trumpeldo, who persuaded the British to do this, and they appointed your grandfather to this job. And your grandfather immediately saw the great potential of these Jewish warriors. He taught them. He himself reinstilled in them. He said, you are the descendants of Joshua. You are the descendants of Judah the Maccabee. He said this. He was versed in the Bible. He was versed in the land of old. He was versed in our heroic past. But he said, you can recreate that historic past in the present. The future is yours. If you have the will, if you have the faith, if you have the discipline. I read his uh, biography. It's quite astounding his recollections of uh, fighting with the, the Jewish uh, fighters in Gallipoli, and then here. 
with the Judeans, as he said. He infused in them a change of belief in their own confidence, in our confidence, to take up the sword of David and to defend ourselves. This is the pivotal change in our history. He is the godfather of the Israeli army. But then he had another contribution. Because years later, having been a champion of Zionism, the Zionist cause all the time, he came to the United States and he met up with Jabotinsky and my late father, Professor Ben-Sion Netanyahu. My father had gone to London on the eve of the Second World War to persuade Jabotinsky to move his base of operations, agitating for a Jewish state, from England to the United States. He told him that it's true that Britain was the dominant power in the world at that time, but a world conflict will come and the emergent power will be the United States. My father was 28 at the time. And Jabotinsky heard him out, called the delegation, and he said, we should do what this man says. And they went to America and began agitating there for a Jewish state, and as my father met Jabotinsky, or rather as my father met your grandfather, they crystallized one direction, a Jewish army. John Henry Patterson, Jabotinsky, very briefly because he passed away shortly after he came there. My father and your grandfather appeared again and again before audiences and said, Jewish army, Jewish army. They too were dismissed sometimes as fringe elements, but this was the basic thing that changed our fate. And it was a, a grand partnership. My parents uh, spoke admiringly of your grandfather very admiringly and very warmly about him, about his, uh, the depth of his commitment to our people, about his uh, unique character. They were so attached to him that they decided to name their eldest uh, son, our brother, uh, Jonathan. They called him Jonathan because of, uh, in honor of John Henry Patterson and Nathan in honor of my grandfather, uh, Rabbi Nathan Milikovsky. And in the uh, Brit, your grandfather gave to my brother a silver cup, which we have in our family. Should have bought it here, sorry. It says to my dear godson, Jonathan, from your godfather, John Henry Patterson. Now there's a link of fate here, and it's not accidental. You're the man who brought about the progenitor of the Israeli army was at the birth of one of the future brave commanders of this army. Both of them are gone now. Your uh, grandfather died a year after my brother's birth and before the establishment of the Jewish state. And uh, my brother fell some 30 years later in leading the rescue force in the Tsahal's rescue mission of his Jewish hostages in Entebbe, Uganda, in Africa. There is a great link of fate and there is a great debt. Your grandfather wanted to be buried next to his beloved soldiers here in Avichail, in the land of Israel. And I feel 
it's an obligation of our people, of our state, and of mine personally to fulfill his testament. I wanted to say that to you personally, Alan. And now I'll sum it all in two sentences in Hebrew, possibly three. ג'ון הנרי פטרסון היה המפקד הראשון של הכוח היהודי, הלוחם הראשון מאז ימי בר כוכבא. הוא היה הסנדק של צבא ההגדה לישראל. הוא גם היה הסנדק של אחי יוני, שנקרא על שמו. במעשה של הבאת אפרו לארץ, קבורתו כאן, לצד הלוחמים של הגדודים העבריים שהוא הקים, אנחנו סוגרים מעגל היסטורי ואנחנו משלמים חוב גדול מאוד לאחד מהגיבורים של עמנו, אחד מהתומכים הגדולים ביותר שקמו לציונות, לעם ישראל ולמדינת ישראל. אנחנו מצדיעים לך, ג'ון הנרי פטרסון. We salute you. John Henry Patterson. Toda Rabah.